Breathe in, swim in the cosmic vibration of everything around you. Find stillness in it and listen. Welcome to Mexico. I'm excited to be coming to you from the beautiful Palmaya, the House of Aya Wellness Resort today with a yoga workout practice that is all about stimulating digestion, boosting your metabolism, and giving you a full body rejuvenating workout. As we move through this practice, we'll be flowing through a variety of yoga poses that will work every muscle in your body. From standing postures that strengthen your legs and core to balancing poses that challenge your stability and focus, will be sure to work up a sweat and leave you feeling powerful and connected. So once you're ready to get started, grab your mat and let's get ready to move, breathe and sweat together on this beautiful beach. Let's begin. Today's video is sponsored by Typology. Typology is a go-to brand of mine these days that is committed to providing natural, effective, and sustainable skincare products that are vegan and cruelty-free. If you're anything like me and you've experienced changes in your skin due to the various factors like hormone changes, having a baby, sun exposure, and the stress of everyday life, then Typology is something I think will do wonders for you as well. The first amazing experience with this brand is the free skin diagnostic test, which is valid by dermatologists and only takes four minutes to do. After you take the test, you'll receive personalized skincare recommendations that are in line with your personal needs. I received an incredible prescription that included a whole variety of amazing products that have been keeping my skin healthy and glowing. I especially love the Eye Contour Serum that reduces the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines around the eye area. It's my go-to product in the morning and at night. Another product that's been a game changer for me is the Serum for Hyperpigmentation and loss of firmness. As someone who shoots videos in the sun for way too long, this serum stimulates collagen production to help firm the skin as well as prevent and reduce the appearance of dark spots. And finally, the serum for wrinkles and loss of firmness, and it stimulates collagen synthesis to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and firm my skin. Typology's formulas are naturally sourced from sustainable farms. Everything is created in France and packaged in glass bottles, aluminum tubes, or recycled plastic bottles. This brand is all about premium products with the highest quality ingredients at a really great price. So if you're looking for amazing vegan, cruelty-free, high-quality skincare, then click the link in the description of this video and take Typology's skin diagnostic test and receive a personalized skincare product recommendations. And when you use our link, you'll receive a free face scrub when you spend $30 or more. With that said, let's get back to our practice. Grab your mat and let's begin. Hello my friends, thank you so much for joining me here today for this yoga workout practice. Let us begin today by coming up towards the front of our mat, standing up over towards mountain pose. Bring your feet together, toes together, closing your eyes and just allowing your arms to rest by your side. Go ahead and take a deep breath in, connecting to your body, to your center calling in presence, energy, and power. As you take your next breath, go ahead and reach both of your arms up to the sky, reaching tall. Exhale, bend your elbows and squeeze the shoulder blades together in cactus arm. Inhale, extend your arms once again. Exhale, bend your knees now if you can and just squeeze those shoulder blades together as you bend your elbows. And again, exhale, squeeze and bend. Inhale, reach up, exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze, and then release all the way down to your forward fold with your knees bent. Once you're ready, then you can begin to start to walk out your knees on one spot, extending one leg at a time, feeling this gentle release through each hamstring. Beautiful, now once you're done, take another deep breath in, just look up halfway. And then exhale, take it all the way down into your standing forward fold, allowing yourself to feel heavy here, bending your knees and then taking two steps back into our downward facing dog. 
Taking a deep breath in here. On your exhale, come into bear stance and just tap your knees to the ground and then extend into downward dog. So come forward, tap the knees and then push back for two downward dog. Inhale, tap your knees, engage in your core, thinking about pulling that belly button into the spine and then extending back into downward facing dog. Tap your knees and extend back into downward facing dog. Now from here, what we're gonna do is take our right hand and then reach that hand towards the left ankle or left back of your knee. Come back into plank and then switch to the other side, left hand to the right, ankle or knee, plank. Knee or ankle, back to plank. Reach across and plank. Good, so just reaching, starting to engage a little bit of that twisting sensation through the core while at the same time activating all of our muscles here through the core center, the shoulders, in the plank, good. Reach and plank, reach and plank, beautiful. Now reach and let's hold it here. So right hand reaches for the outside of your left ankle or perhaps the back of your left knee, wherever is comfortable for you. Once you can actually grab onto any part of your leg, start to increase that twisting sensation by looking up towards the sky taking a deep breath in here and then exhale back to downward dog and switch to the other side so now the other hand reaches for the opposite ankle or back of the knee holding breathing you can close your eyes here if that feels good just connect to that breath to that gentle twisting sensation to the balance, to the strength of your body. Beautiful, come back to center, downward facing dog. And now exhale round, vertebra by vertebra, over into high plank position, chaturanga, opening into upward dog. Now I want you to hold it here. Just tuck the back toes underneath once again. And what we're gonna do is take our chaturanga tricep push-ups. So you're gonna bring it down, and up for one, bring it down. And you keep those elbows close to your body, so strictly working the tricep area. You can even think of touching that forehead to the floor if you like. And then extend, good, release the toes now, come back into up dog. And exhale, release back into downward facing dog. Good, just take a breather again, feel that upper body waking up. Good, another deep breath in. On your exhale, reach your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog, bending the knee, bring that right knee to your chest, hold in plank, tap the knee to the floor and up, step your right foot to the front of your mat, high lunge, bring your hands down, extend your leg, bring it in, tap up, step it forward, arms up, high lunge, arms down, extend back into plank. Knee in, tap the mat, bring it up, step the foot forward, arms back up, high lunge, arms down, release into your single legged plank, bring the knee in, tap the floor, bring it up, step forward, arms up. If you need to slow this down, don't worry, slow it down. Let's kick back into our single legged plank and then just pump the back leg one, two, work through that glute four, lift it, five, try not to move any other parts of your body, only work from the hip and glute, good, bring that right knee back into your chest, step forward, arms up, high lunge, find your center, extend the front knee, bend both knees, bend both elbows for one, exhale, two, reach, three, good job, get nice and low with that back knee, and four, reach, five, Six, you got it. And seven, really focus on your form here. Awesome, you guys extend that back knee, extend your arms to the side, reach forward, hands in prayer, and then taking our twisted high lunge, left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Right elbow points up to the sky, your gaze can stay down, or if you want an extra challenge, look up to the sky.
Beautiful. Now from here, we're going to transition into our twisted chair. So first, bring your gaze down towards the front of your mat to find your balance. And then you're slowly shifting all of your weight to that front foot and stepping your left foot to the front of your mat. Good. Landing in a seated Utkatasana chair. See if you can continue to stay in that twisted variation, engaging the digestive system here. So we're constricting the blood flow into particular digestive organs to then untwist the body and bring fresh blood flow in, reaching both of the arms up to the sky chair. Give me chair squats. Extend both knees and bend for one. Reach and two. Get nice and low with your hips here. Three. Knees together, feet together. Four. Hold it here. Hold, 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 hold your chair. Hands together in prayer. Release into forward fold. Halfway up. Exhale. Go ahead. Take two steps back into high plank position. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Open up. And then simply tuck your toes underneath. Let's take another set of our up dog push-ups. Bring your body down and up for one. Bend your elbows. Extend the elbows for two. So do your best to only have all the work be done from the elbows up. Release the toes back into upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Just take a moment for yourself. Find that center, your balance. We're going to reverse it now on the opposite side. Left leg reaches up, three-legged dog. Bend your knee. Bring the knee to chest in plank a variation. Tap the knee to the ground. Bring it up. Step your left foot to the front of your mat. Arms up, high lunge. Exhale, arms back down. Front foot extends back into single-legged plank. Knee in. Tap up. Step forward. Arms up. Arms down back into plank, extend your front foot back for three. Knee to chest, tap and up. Step forward, arms up, arms back down, and then extend back. Knee to chest, tap the floor, bring it up, use that core strength. Arms up, find your balance. Arms back down, extend into your plank, knee in, tap, up. Step forward, arms up, high lunge, arms back down, and then extend into your plank position and just pump that back leg up for one, two, work from the glute, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Bring the knee in, step forward with your left foot, arms back up, high lunge. Hold here, let's go ahead and come into cactus arms, bend your elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades, extend your arms and front knee, exhale, bend both knees and elbows for one. And two, good. As you come down, that back knee hovers above the floor, so get as low as you can before touching it physically to the ground. Extend and down. Reach and down, reach and down and just extend the back knee hold it here extend the arms out to the side and then bring the palms together to the heart twist to your right right elbow to the outside of your left knee come into your twisted high lunge if this is too difficult on the balance you can always modify by dropping the back knee to the floor and taking the low lunge variation to make this more challenging bring your gaze up to the sky to find a little bit more balance, keep your gaze down towards the floor. A wonderful way to stimulate the digestive system in this posture. Now let's transition into our twisted chair. Step your back foot forward. Hold, find your balance. Continue to stay in this twist. We're just switching the shape of the lower body. Good. So if you were looking up to the sky, continue to do so. And then untwist the body, reach both arms up, come back into that chair, hold, and then just take our chair squats. Extend both knees and come back down low into chair for one. Get low for two. Keep your knees together, feet together. Three. Reach. Four. Get as low as you can with those hips. Five. Hold it here. Hands back together, release into forward fold. 
halfway up and then two steps back into downward facing dog for just a breath coming through into high plank chaturanga releasing the toes upward facing dog and exhale push back downward facing dog good take that breath inhale deeply exhale let it go now from here we're going to transition into our side plank so come over to your right hand left arm reaches up to the sky if you want to modify drop your bottom knee to the floor and then top arm is going to come through and open for one reach through that little opening and two reach through and three reach through and four and five and six you got it engaging through the obliques and seven eight nine one more finding that side plank and then see if you can lift that top knee up bringing your foot to the inside of your inner thigh holding this tree variation once again if this is too difficult for you, you can always just remain in that side plank and if you'd like to add a little extra funky transition take your big toe with your left two piece fingers and then begin to transition that foot to the front of your mat once again friends if this is too much just come into lizard pose by taking whichever transition is easy for you so lizard we're dropping that back knee to the floor left foot rolls slightly to the pinky toe the lateral side of your foot and then feel free to use your hand to push that knee away from you really opening through that hip releasing tension out of the hip flexor and then reaching that left arm if you wish to the back grabbing that back foot and pulling the heel towards your glute adding a deeper sensation through the quadricep and again if this is too intense just remain in the regular lizard you don't have to take this variation if you don't want to good one more deep breath in and exhale let's release release the foot lift the back knee off the mat let's just hold this deep opening variation of lizard and then let's prepare to do one more exercise to target the obliques shift your weight onto your hands so you're holding nice and strong here what you're going to do is lift that left foot off the mat and just connect the knee to elbow and then extend into plank and then bring it to the elbow or outside of your tricep and back out tap and out tap and out keep going just a couple more and take a flow chaturanga upward facing dog downward facing dog now before we take it to the other side let's just take a moment in this downward dog reconnect with that intention reconnect with the body with the mind with that present awareness maybe add a little bit of movement into the neck if you feel like you need to or just find stillness find your breath and once you're ready let's take it to the other side onto the plank over to your left hand side over to side plank stack your feet or modify by dropping the knee let's take that arm through and open out for one bring it through and two threaded to the inner midline and three good job four five keep going and last one extend hold it here if you want to go a little bit more advanced come into tree variation just remember to be above the knee here good use the help of your hands if you need it beautiful otherwise just stay in your side plank continue to engage through the core and if you want to take the transition take your big toe with your peace fingers and then bring it all the way through coming into our lizard on the right side so roll that right side to the lateral part of your foot drop the back knee use your right hand so the same hand as the knee 
and push the knee away from your body. So deepening that opening sensation in the hip joint, maybe opening that chest, the heart center. And then if you're ready to go deeper into the quad, go ahead and reach that arm behind you, grab your foot, and then begin to pull the heel towards your glute. Feeling this a little bit deeper in the quadricep, listen to the body so just go as deep as your body's asking you today don't force it you don't need to hold this in complete pain you just want to breathe through the discomfort good once you're ready to release go ahead and lift that back knee off the mat hold your lizard bring the knee to elbow and then extend back into plank let's take our oblique exercises for two touch and three touch the outside of the elbow or the tricep and then take your chaturanga flow upward dog and downward facing dog awesome you guys take a deep breath in here for me exhale let it go lift the heels bend your knees hop to the front of your mat and then land over towards a seated position on your mat right over to your glutes to your sit bones reach forward with your arms drop the shoulders away from the ears coming into boat posture or navasana hold elongate the neck find that stillness that balance that focus beautiful way to slow down the heart rate while at the same time challenge the core now let's come all the way down to our backs head down to the floor arms come next to the body on the mat variation one variation two is to reach forward as you lift your shoulder blades off the mat and we do our bicycle switch 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 single leg switches good breathing inhale and exhale good one two exhale three four one two exhale three four nice and steady bring those knees in and then drop your head back down awesome you guys take a deep breath out as you bring the soles of your feet together allow your knees to open let's take our final asana of this practice supta baddha konasana reclined butterfly pose palms of your hands open hands resting on your knees allow your knees to fall open as you're comfortable Close your eyes and just begin to breathe deeply into the body. With each exhalation, allowing your body to melt and let go into the mat, into the floor. Feeling this gentle release through the hips. Feeling that beautiful positive energy in the palms of your hands as you open yourself up to it. A receptive hand mudra, opening ourselves to the universe to everything that is here for us. All of the positive energy that you deserve, the energy of peace, of joy, of love. So take a deep breath in, into the heart, into the lungs, into the belly, and exhale out, calming down the body and the mind. Whenever you're ready, you may reach your arms over your head, roll over onto one side, and then slowly, at your own pace, bring yourself up to seated position, somewhere along the center of your mat. Placing your hands on your knees, let's take a final deep breath together. Let's find that center and balance. And exhale out. Awesome, you guys. Take a final breath with me. Reach both of your arms up to the sky. And then exhaling, bring the hands over to your third eye. And then slowly down to your heart. And bowing down in gratitude to yourself for your wonderful practice today. Thank you so much for joining me here today in beautiful Mexico. All my love and light. Namaste.
Thanks so much for practicing with me today. Before you go, don't forget to check out Typology, which is a brand on a mission to make naturally active, effective, and sustainable skincare products. You can experience all they have to offer by simply clicking the link in the description of this video and taking the Typology Skin Diagnostic Test to receive your personalized skincare product recommendations. Plus, don't forget when you use our link, you'll receive a free face scrub when you spend over $30. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you soon.